talk about courage and convictions. I was advised that there's certain issues that you don't bring on a campaign trail with you. The country's too divided. That if you're compelled to really take a stand, that it's page two, second to last paragraph, small font. And you show the advocates that you're there to support them, you even put it in print, and you hope that you're vague enough that your opponents never notice. So I considered this advice. And those of you who know me know about how long I considered it. It was something like seven seconds. <laughs> My name is David Pia. I'm pro-traditional tra marriage. <laughs> I'm pro-family values. <laughs> I'm pro-small business. I'm pro-small government. somebody special, somebody that's withstood the test of time. And my quote was from a man who was born in the most modest of conditions, born of a controversial family, and he lived to serve others. He was sinless, he harmed no one and did nothing but good works. And the quote is, as you've done unto the least of these, you've done unto me. some votes. I do realize the division on the issues within this room. I realize there's people here who support I need to hold opposing views. I respect them and I hope they'll respect me and I hope we can agree to disagree. I hope that those who agree with these social issues and those in opposition will respect it tonight. A candidate for public office has had the courage and the conviction to stand here and address head on the most controversial issues that face us. I've had the courage to address these issues, and I have the courage to address the fiscal issues, which haunt us and haunt our children. I have the courage to stand alone if I have to, and I have the courage to be your voice in Hartford. 